What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I'm Reckless. Y'all know what's going down. Y'all see in the title what's going down. Other videos, remember to check and make sure y'all comment down below. Email me, lifereckless.com, yahoo.com. DM me on Instagram, lifereckless. Y'all already know what's going down. Let's get it. The President of the United States has complained that I'm engaging in some sort of political witch hunt, that I've got some personal vendetta against him, that I campaigned against him. That is not true. So what is true, LJ? And I, one thing that I dislike, and I'm sorry, I, you know, it's only 22 seconds in. One thing that I dislike about a lot of people is when they say, that's not my president. That's not my president. Yes, it is. Regardless, yes, it is. It doesn't matter who it is. That is, you know, the president. Regardless, it's the president. Even if, you know. We, regardless, you have to follow. And that's what people don't understand. You're still going to follow. It's the president. Got to. But that right there, and you you sitting there, and you you getting people all hyped up, that just goes to show you right there. Yeah. We've got to get ready to mobilize, and we've got to get ready to agitate and irritate until victory mm. is won, but more importantly, until Trump is defeated. Yeah. We will all rise up and resist this man. That's why I don't go to stuff like this. <laughs> it's, it's just cringy and watching this. That is not true. That clown <laughs> of a New York Attorney General, Letitia James, just got some horrible news. We're going to see how her case against Trump is literally blowing up in her face. But wow. first, I'll be back. That's right, gang. He wow. is back. It's time to show our. Make sure I go get y'all bobblehead. Make sure I go subscribe to Dr. Steve Turley. Definitely a goat. About to skip this though, so we can end this video, y'all. Being widely reported that Deutsche Bank has provided testimony that absolutely wrecks the state of New York's case against President Trump. Now, just in case you need reminding here, no one is suing Trump here. Trump is not being sued by anyone. There are no banks suing him. There are no insurance companies suing. Him. No one, no one, none of New York's banks or insurance companies, no actual business entity is suing Trump. It's the state of New York through this Maoist Attorney General Letitia James, who alone has brought charges against President Trump, not because he's done anything wrong, but because they've got a political vendetta against him, as you heard with your own ears. As you know, the state of New York has indicted Trump, accusing him of defrauding his creditors by overvaluing his properties. And in the process, they're finding him hundreds of millions of dollars, and they've tried to break up the Trump organization, seize control of his properties, including Trump Tower, and they're even attempting to penalize his kids. Well, now, one of Trump's creditors, Deutsche Bank, has stepped into all of this, and the testimony that they just gave is absolutely devastating to New York's sham case against Trump. Even CNN is reporting, however, reluctantly that Deutsche Bank approved of Trump's property valuation after doing their own due diligence in estimating the worth of Trump's properties. I mean, after all, that's the key to all of this. They, the banks, the insurance companies, they determine the worth of Trump's properties, not Trump. His corporation, of course, provided their own valuation initially, but no bank or insurance company on the planet's going to take that at face value. They're going to do their own valuation. And that's precisely what Deutsche Bank did. According to Bloomberg's report, Deutsche Bank executives did indeed evaluate Trump's net worth and the estimated value of his properties. They provided their own adjustment in accordance with their own due diligence and happily lent Trump the money requested. 
and the Trump organization in turn paid it all back. It's an amazing company. It's got a stellar reputation among banks and insurance companies. And Deutsche Bank made it clear that they, not Trump, they made the ultimate determination on the worth of his properties and lent <laughs> money in accordance with their assessment, not Trump's. In other words, it's impossible for Trump to defraud companies that do their own due diligence in determining net worth. Now, this is but the latest embarrassment for this pathetic kangaroo case. <laughs> As many of you know, Trump is publicly demanding a trial by jury. This is a trial that's being decided solely by this corrupt judge and Goron, Mr. Freeze Miser. There's no Freeze jury. Miser. And Trump mm. called this judge out, basically accusing him of being a corrupt partisan hack, which he is, and pointed out that he demonstrably has no case. The court clearly has no idea the intricacies of real estate law. Trump's team has been pointing this out time and time again. They're totally out of their league here. And as I understand it, this judge erroneously valued Mar-a-Lago as a residential property rather than as a commercial property. In other words, the judge used a residential real estate tax appraised value of Mar-a-Lago, the value that local government officials would put on the land to determine its taxes, the judge confused that for its commercial market value. Whenever you go to buy a real estate property that's a private residence, residential real estate, the bank will only loan you the amount of what the property is worth based on local government appraisal. However, if you're looking to buy a commercial real estate property, commercial real estate property, I think it's a property that has to have four or more residences on it, like apartment units, the bank loans are based on a completely different standard. The bank now loans you an amount that reflects the money that you can expect to make from the rental payments. So they're two fundamentally different forms of valuation. If it's commercial property, banks don't estimate the value based on local government. And the crazy thing is, regardless of, obviously it's good for, you know, people like Dr. Steve Charlie that can explain it better. But the thing is, is that if you have a judge, you know, and you have this attorney, you have these different people, they ought to notice. That's been one of like they ought to notice, and for and and uh, uh, they do. That's the thing, for for them to know that, but to drag it out just to stop this man from being president is sick. Like it, it literally it bothers me so much that you can take. And, and, and take anything and everything in your power, little by little. We just got done talking about it in the last video. Little by little. some simple, you know. Last video, I haven't checked it out. Make sure you go check it out. But little by little to break them down. And it's not doing nothing to help them. It's not doing nothing to help them. tax it's appraisals, they estimate the value based on the income that the property can generate. So the two ways of assessing a property's value is totally different. And this idiot judge applied a residential valuation for commercial real estate property. It's beyond absurd. See what I'm saying? But why is he a judge then? How is he a judge? It's but crazy. now you got Deutsche Bank saying, um, we didn't loan Trump money based on his own worth assessment. We loaned it to him based on our worth assessment, our own due diligence. No one got duped here. There was no deception. There was no fraud. That's coming from one of the key witnesses in this whole sham kangaroo court. And this New York Attorney General, she's just been further exposed for the sham she really is. Hey, gang, I know what it's like. Hey, y'all. I'm be, I'm be real honor with y'all. It's, it's honestly sickening. It's messed up, especially for her to say, oh, it's, this is not a, a witch hunt. This is not a... But then you go, and that was my first time actually seeing her speak in front of people. That was my first time. And for her to sit there and chant those things out and chant this and chant that, getting them people ahead that that's the right thing to do is sickening. Then you want to sit there and lie like it ain't. And you honestly can't stand them. You hate them. You're not going after nothing that's real. She's going after something that 
based off emotions, you know, based off emotions. I don't know. Make sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know y'all thoughts and uh, you know what 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 y'all thinking. What's in y'all head down below? Try to check out everybody's comment. We do got a bed that we got to put up today, so you know, uh, not really sure I can get to everybody's comment, but do what I, I would love to see, which I have to say. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, and watching this reaction. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Catch y'all next one.